Does Cola like tennis balls? Yes. Plays he likes tennis small ball? tennis balls. Oh. He likes like small <laughs> tennis balls? So you guys are mean to each other, huh? Well, I'm not mean. He's mean to me. <laughs> Keep away from my personal space. Get out of that personal space. <laughs> Yo, guys, guys, get a room. Dan, Dan, how much would I have to pay you for you to eat a cockroach? <laughs> like, like, I would buy it at a store, like a protein cockroach. Not like, oh, I just found one in my backyard, eat it. Is it dead? <laughs> or is it alive? It's alive. It's alive? Yeah. Uh, 10 million. 10 million? <laughs> what, what if it's dead? dead? What if it's dead? Is it $10? I'll do it. $1. <laughs> $1? No, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. Did what? you know there was a guy in Florida who died by eating cockroaches? Alive? Well, he, there was a cockroach eating contest <laughs> and he suffocated by eating cockroaches. Oh my god. They were because alive. Because the winner wins a... Uh, a cobra. And he wants to gift that snake to his best friend. Who wanted a cobra. Did you know we have cobras oh, in the gross. backyard? <laughs> yeah. So how much for you to eat a dead cockroach? Dead? Probably, yeah. Uh, a mil. A <laughs> mil? <laughs> a million? Actually, I'll do it for 100k. 100k? Damn, you guys got standards. What? <laughs> How much did you do it for? I'll do it for you for free. Oh! It's actually the most romantic thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. Okay, today's vlog is gonna be really nerve wracking. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm really excited because you guys are seeing another addition to the family. You guys have met me, you've met Dan Dan, you've met my sister. You know, my sister's fiance, Andrew, has been coming over a lot, so that's been nice. But you didn't know that my fiance sister has also been coming over a lot. Uh, she's been a little camera shy, but today, today she agreed. I don't know how she agreed, but we got her to agree, and she's gonna be on camera, <laughs> and I'm really excited. I know everyone's gonna be like trying to take a still frame of her and Photoshop her hair out, Photoshop some dude's hair cut on there, and be like, that's Steffi on set. But like, I don't know, do they look alike? What's your vibe, Dan Dan? Do they look similar? I don't think so. Different? I think they're, they got like similar um, eye structure. Let me see your eyes. What? Wait a minute. I am so offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you're so should be offended, okay? Uh, so she's also brought her little baby over and his name is Cola, which I'm so excited about. So she got another Frenchie in the middle of the vid. So this is a vid baby that we're talking about, which means that he hasn't really been able to see a lot of people, really been able to see a lot of dogs because you know, when you go to dog parts, you're social distancing. He's just been by himself practically, no, with his owner, but like, you know, not around a lot of dogs. He's coming over. Mango, you're breathing really heavy right now. But first, I wanna mention something. Tiffany has been telling us, this is my fiance's sister, right? I keep wanting to say my sister's fiance because that just rolls off the tongue these days. So she has been telling us, hey, does your dog do this at night? My dog the other night woke up in the middle of the night and he started doing that like almost a coughing noise. Is that okay? And we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we've had our dogs for like six years now. They do that. You just kind of have to massage their neck a little bit. It goes away. And then she'd be like, oh my God, I was freaking out. Like I didn't know what to do. Should I have called? someone should I have called you guys at like 3 in the morning, right? And I said, listen, I know you're in the market for some, you know, peace of mind. And let me introduce you to Pop. Mango? <laughs> Mango? She said, I am not getting paid <laughs> to be a part of this. This is Mango, who is named, literally this channel, my podcast, my entire life online is named and based after this dog. She is my inspiration, she's my muse. And then I have another Frenchie who is laying <laughs> right next to me while I film this. Right next to me, I tell you. Wait, where's his head? His head is right here. This one's Tiger. And she's been asking me, okay, how do you make sure that you're, you're ready for a vet visit? You've got the funds, you've got... You need to brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I know that we were briefly talking about how we wanted to get a pet insurance, but none of them just were up to par with us, especially because Mango has a pre-existing condition. She's got an autoimmune disease. She's got skin dermatitis. And all of these insurance companies, once they found that out, they found out that she's a French bulldog. She's like, they're like, no. Either we're gonna charge you a bajillion dollars or we're not even gonna insure Mango. So I just was in this pickle in a hard place and none of these traditional pet insurances felt like it was the right fit for me until I found Pop. 
because it's not just insurance. You actually get access to their digital clinic, which means you could be talking to a certified vet like 24 seven. You wake up at three in the morning, your pet's feeling a little bit weird. What would your normal reaction be? You'd freak out, maybe you'd call someone. Maybe you would go to the emergency vet and spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars for an off hours visit. But with Pop, you can actually sign on to their online portal and start talking to a vet. Is this something that I do need to go to the hospital for? Or do you think that maybe I should try this remedy at home? Because there have been so many instances where I have taken Mango to the emergency vet and what do they say? I just put it on a rice diet for a day. <laughs> and they charge me so much money and I wish that I had this peace of mind prior to this. With the POP membership, you actually get access to an emergency fund up to $3,000 regardless of your dog's breed. So, I mean, if you guys have a French Bulldog, insurance companies hate them. If you guys have a pre-existing condition with your dog, it doesn't matter. POP will still give you access to that emergency fund. Doesn't matter on their age, location, and it's only for $19 a month. And one pop plan protects up to six dogs in one household. So I didn't even have to get two separate memberships for Mango and Tiger. I have the same one. Pet parents can actually connect with licensed vets 24 seven. You can do comprehensive chat, video sessions. Do you know how much stress this would have saved me and Mango? Cause this one, she's got a lot of health problems. I just love having this peace of mind and it's been amazing for like a first time owner like Tiffany because you know, even small things, she starts panicking. Like what if my dog is choking on something? She just hops online. It's so much quicker than actually even driving to your local emergency vet. So make sure to click the link in my description to get 20% off your POP membership. That's just $15 for your first month, which is insane. And you get access to this digital clinic. You get access to that emergency fund up to $3,000, which could be life-changing for a doggo that's sick. So thank you, POP, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get into the video. Den Den, look up there. What? It's been storming. Dude, I, Do you see the umbrella? I like your hair, by the way. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> no, listen, I was like, what just happened? So are you going to go and pick it up later? No, wait. I, no, but. Is it because of the hurricane? <laughs> I think so. That's what everyone's telling me. I don't know if that's true. There's an umbrella just soaking. The umbrella itself is already so heavy, and now that it's soaked in water, I think it's going to take like two people to get it out. I found a bra in the office, and I didn't want Dan Dan to look at it, but now I'm like, vlog me, okay? So I'm trying to throw it up. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, oh, so more strength, more strength, come okay, on. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh hell no. Oh. What if? What if? What if uh then then and uh then then and uh, what? I don't know, I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. Then then and what? Uh your sister. My sister? Your sister <laughs> Okay, your sister has been um texting me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> also I'm his sister, I'm his cousin. He has an older sister, okay? And my dad was saying, cause my dad's trying to manage me. It's weird. It's not an official thing, okay? I'm like, dad, you can't, you don't even understand what I do, right? And he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna give you some good business advice. My dad thinks that you, me, and your sister should film a video together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, cut the cameras. <laughs> It's happening. My sister's fiance is here. What's my happening with my hair? Fiance. Oh wait, my fiance's sister is here. I think she has her dog with her. This is gonna be a Frenchie party. I don't know how. His name is Cola. Her name is Tiffany. I'm Stephanie, she's Tiffany. But she's also <laughs> brought her dog. <laughs> and this is Jen Den. And she's also brought her dog named Cola. Isn't that a cute name? They're all food, except for Tiger. Oh, oh my god, god, I see the shadow. Oh. I see the shadow. Okay, we're ready. Cola, like kind of during the pandemic, so he's not wonderfully socialized yet because you know, obviously, right. you can't go to dog he's park. Fine. But he's like really good. He's good. Yeah, he's, he's just a little shaky, he, he but. Kind of looks like a Pokemon. Oh, a, a Pokemon? Pokemon? Yeah. Oh, cute. Cola! 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 Uh, Mango, can you not be a vicious beast? Cola. Cola. Hi, Cola. Hey. <laughs> you got slobbers. Oh, he is so scared. Oh, Mango. 
Mango, don't be annoying. There's the nice like, one. Tanya <laughs> likes to play too. To play. It's okay. They will get along. But he's starting to get the hang of it. Oh, oh. He's smelling my mom. Tiger. Tiger. Stop Tiger being really such likes a this. loser, okay? <laughs> Personal space. Keep away from my personal space. Get out of that personal space. He's not. <laughs> I know you like scratches. I scratch you. I scratch my doggos. They love the scratches. He's comfortable, right? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. Wait, they're wow. both boys. His yeah. coat is amazing. Yeah, his coat is so soft. Wow, uh, he's got a really cute butt. <laughs> honey, he's got the perfect shape. Stop looking butt. at everyone's butt. I mean, I gotta. We're letting Ma Mango to meet yeah. Cola. Oh. Please, Mango, don't be vicious, please. Oh. Don't embarrass us. Uh, Mango? Mango, hey! Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> um, Tiger? There's more in life than following a. What is that? A candle? <gasps> it smells so good. It smells like Oh my god, it smells like mango. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. If you guys remember at the old place, Dan Dan would always fall asleep, take naps on that white couch. Here, this is gonna give you deja vu. Get ready. About that one. What was your first reaction? What was your thoughts and feelings? You know, I yeah. kind of figured after like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> this yep. is a prank. Back to Kelly. <laughs> you gotta stop napping here. You gotta stop napping on our place. <laughs> there was a point we handcuffed him and then we set off the alarms and he went nuts. <laughs> what did you turn on? It was something like. Oh, it was like something creepy. I think it was like yeah, was evacuate the premises or something. It was like a woman's well, voice being like, emergency, you, you must evacuate immediately or something of that sort. And he was freaking out. Hold up, did they tie my leg? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got out and I tripped. Oh my God. Just so you guys know, I am not a prankster. I don't like pranking people, but he's like the little devil on my shoulder. <laughs> he's like, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> Are you gonna get him back? Oh, yeah. Is this the beginning of another prank <laughs> war? <laughs> oh. Yes. But now that we live near each other, this could be well, like it could a. Be really right. It could be really crazy. Like, I could even show up. <laughs> like, remember, you were talking about how you were scared that one day in the bathroom because you felt like someone was watching yes, you? Yes, dude. No. Well, well, now it could be us. us. Nah. In your house. Please don't. I got your mom on speed dial. She's explaining <laughs> to us what we're about to do. So, yes. I'm just gonna up. Okay. We're playing a game. And then, okay. mm -hmm. basically, we put two, <laughs> your hats in here. We're gonna poke a hole here. Wait, my hat's gonna not. You think my hat's gonna fit in here? That's like really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, we need a yeah, bigger newspaper. Gonna... So, two hats gonna be here. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna try to tear the newspaper off from the other hats. So, example, like two hats here. Yeah. And you try to tear. Whoever gets the newspaper out from the others. Ah, uh, they're the winner. Go ahead, Anna. You don't want to rip your paper. So the key is not to make your paper super like ripped. <laughs> this is called <laughs> reverb burst. Reverb burst. <laughs> reverse burst. No! Can you guys say reverse burst? <laughs> Wait, can you say caterpillar? Caterpillar. Say caterpillar. Caterpillar. Say caterpillar. Caterpillar. What? <laughs> How did they play it? They, they tried so to like... They tried to break the uh, paper off from the other person's But paper. don't loop, break yours. Yeah. So if the, he drags, you <laughs> might have to follow. Ready, rules? set, no go. Rules. No you rules. You can even get violent. <gasps> oh! <laughs> 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 What's 
the secret though? What's the, the secret, tip? You need to hold something like. Hold something? Hold, hold what? I use my mouth. Use your mouth? I don't know if you're supposed to use your mouth. <laughs> and you eat your <laughs> Stephanie automatically loses. Her head's stuck. <laughs> I am fucking crazy, but I am free. Why is the hole so small? Ready, set, go! Listen, don't, don't freak out, okay? But there's something behind you. <laughs> Working hard. Uh, what so are you doing? The key is you want to avoid any tears, right? Wait, what? If I do a perfect circle like this, then there's no extra tears to for her to rip. You Does that don't make have sense? To take it so seriously, you, see this? you know? This is like really intimate. This All right. feels like a game. Alright. Okay. Ah! <laughs> okay, stop! Okay, ready? Go! Oh, yo, guys, guys, get a room. Oh, oh. How could this happen to me? <laughs> get a room. Ah, 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 what happened to your flawless logic, Mr. Perfect Circle? Hashtag no tears. <laughs> Here's what's going on. So, Cola is really good with the other dogs right now. Um, they've been just cohabitating. He doesn't really seem to want to play with them, which is completely fine. We're not gonna. We're not gonna force them to play, but one thing that is kind of nice is that Cola's not obsessed with toys like Mango, so they've had no problem in this house. So I'm actually gonna surprise Cola with something something. He seems a little bit hesitant with humans. Out of all of us, every single one of us, we still gotta get low on the ground, we gotta, you know, slowly approach him before we pet him, which is completely fine, but my sister, the minute that my sister walked in, he like went to my sister. What? Didn't growl even once, just let really? her touch him. Yeah, it was kind of bizarre. We were all shocked. We were like, wait, what? So we're actually gonna surprise him with this. We put the other dogs away because I have a surprise for Cola. Ready? Does Cola like tennis balls? Yes. Really? Cola yeah. plays with tennis balls? Tennis balls. Oh, he likes like Cola. small <laughs> tennis balls. <laughs> Okay, he's a little skeptical. Oh! Wow! Wow, he's playing! They're playing soccer together, all of them! Oh, he's playing! This is how Mango plays with a giant tennis ball. <laughs> So the video yes. was like, how do you play with this? Yeah. Ball? She's like, he likes tennis balls, but this one's just too big. <laughs> Is she barking? <laughs> Mango, why are you barking? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you play with that. We're all sitting in the office and we are just literally watching TikToks, all of us like on separate times. But I have a question because I feel like, okay, Tiffany's a little bit camera shy, but I have a couple of questions for you that I know that everyone is going to be asking. Oof. Are you ready? These are going to be really important. It's almost like a test. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What's your pet peeve? What's, What's your, your biggest pet peeve? Pet peeve? Biggest one. Yeah. That's a hard question, huh? Mm -hmm. What's your pet peeve then? Yeah. Someone who's rude to the wait waiter. Ah, me too. Oh my god. Someone rude to the waiter. He's like, so when I was working. What are things that makes you the most happy? This is lame. You guys question. Fire! What the fuck are you saying? Fire! What's your favorite memory? Being his sister, like a sibling memory. We don't have a good memory. No, <laughs> there has to be a good memory. That's I actually true. <laughs> Okay, what did you guys used to fight about all the time? We fight too much. When you were young. When we were young. We everything. Fight about everything. What about now? What do you guys fight about? Now we still talk. <laughs> <laughs> so we're saying every sibling in our family, in your family too. Yes. Most of y'all all had really difficult relationship growing up together. No. Not you and your sister, sister fought too. Not, okay. We fought. Me and my sister fought yeah. all the time, but we hung out literally like Every day. Well, you guys fight a lot too. We, because we're always together. Yeah, that's every sibling. We all yeah. fight a lot. Okay. Yeah. I think what will happen is that you have to get to a certain age or you have to be mature. I think once uh -huh. you become uh -huh. mature, you just fix the relationship. Right. So in this room, you're good with your sister? Yeah. I'm Me really and my sister, they're sister. getting better. Okay. Then then. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 
I'm not sure he's good. Uh -huh. It's the other side. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna do a sibling challenge. Let me know if you'd be interested. I'm trying to get everyone on board. It's just been really hard, okay? So I was thinking them two, me and my sister, Dan Dan and his Ooh, sister. So yes, hard. we find out who is the best sibling group. We gotta bet some money because this one I'm confident. Oh, um, I'm if con the money is really much, I can make that. <laughs> I know what they're gonna do. If there's money involved, they're gonna start hanging out every single day <laughs> for a full all week, day. talking all night. Dang. Every day. <laughs> What's your favorite memory with Jennifer? When we went to this uh, store in Korea, uh, mm -hmm. and she bought me. Um, she bought you something. She, she bought, bought you she something. Bought me a what? A what? A spinning thing, that toy. How old were you? I was like five. Aww. So your favorite, favorite memory was when you were five? Yeah. After that, I went. <laughs> <laughs> what does it take for you guys to repair the friendship? S uh, the siblingship. Simulation. Yeah. I think like the arrogance gotta go. Arrogance? Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotta go. Yeah. Not me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're like. The type to like sometimes give yeah. in, you know? Uh huh. Uh huh. But her? Never. Never give in? Nope. I feel like she needs in all the time for me though. I feel like she needs. Her testimony, yeah, her witness her, statement. Yeah, her witness statement, and mm -hmm. then you will have your witness statement, and then we can make the decision. Yeah. Sure. Who gets to. We should have family court. <laughs> we should have family court. Uh, Mango went upstairs. I can hear her click clacking upstairs. Mango! She's coming down. She's coming down. I, I, I told her. you. Oh, <laughs> she brought a toy here. Can she you pick her up? She went to go get the toy. Oh, you're the best, Mango. You're even better than Cola. <laughs> Should we have a, a who's the smartest dog competition and you guys just train Cola no, and No, we should Mingo? just have who's the smartest <laughs> <laughs> I think people would like to know. It's not me that wants to know. What was um your first impression of me? <laughs> well, I always like you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now we're on Danda. First impression of Danda. Uh, he's nice. He's, um... He's just like Stephanie. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Like, similar kind. Similar yeah. kind. Why? Similar uh, kind. You don't uh, like to be similar. Yeah. What's wrong with me? Yeah. That's wrong about it. I just like to be unique. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no. What's your first impression of me? <laughs> <laughs> Was he mean to you growing up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys were mean to each other, huh? But I'm not mean. He's mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't recall that. I, I don't recall that. That's not what my memory is talking about. Also, can we talk about her egg trauma? So every morning, sometimes we like to eat eggs. My mom or I would like stir fry some eggs. No, not stir fry. Like sunny side up some eggs. She doesn't like eating eggs. And he's like, oh yeah, she has trauma. I told you, I had yeah. trauma too. It was like, what? And he was like, yeah, we both growing up. We were just forced to eat boiled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> like every day. Every he said he used morning. to, did you hide it or throw it away or what did so you do? I will, I will open the window and pop <laughs> I grab a tissue paper around it and put it in my book bag and then... And then to throw it away? And, yeah, later. Wow. Bro, what? it's so bad. Like, it was for the longest time, I smell egg, I want to gag. Okay. Oh really? God. Just don't force your child to eat things sometimes. It's yeah. just really bad. Okay, did you actually float in a bucket? <laughs> you know, every year it floods. Dad will put like bucket in the water. Oh. We'll stay in the bucket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> oh, it's that true! Was That's crazy! Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were making shit up no, at that okay. point. Yeah. What else? What else do you want to verify, my okay. source? How long did it take you to walk to school, huh? Because I have my, I have my fucking suspicions I, about this oh, stuff. Yeah, no, know. listen, listen, listen. Anytime I complain about anything about my childhood, he goes, you fucking Americans have it so easy. And I'm like, why did we have, and he was like, in China, when I went to school, okay? Was it that bad? Tell her. She's just shaking sighed. her head and sighing. What's wrong? Yeah, I've been telling my friends. <laughs> It was that bad? Way much more than here. Really? Why, why? So you have to walk from home to the bus stop. It's like 20, 25 minutes. Oh, heck no. And then on the bus, you don't sit. There's like bajillion people. You get in there like, like a can tuna. You just squish into the bus for like an hour. Yeah. Some bus, <laughs> listen, there's two types of bus. A bus with AC 
and your bus went out. <laughs> Imagine you're jammed into the bus and it was 40 degrees, which will be like 100 plus degrees oh here in a bus with a bunch of sweaty people <laughs> and you oh stuck no. in there for at least one hour. One hour? Because it's like traffic time. Yeah, and then you get out of the bus, you have to walk another maybe yeah. 30 minutes Yeah. in the heat. In the heat, okay? The sun is just shining on your back and it was like 100 degrees. And then guess what? After school, you do that again. And in school, there's no AC. You know, like after school, everybody is trying to get on the bus. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you don't even get to <gasps> chance. You have to wait oh, for the next oh, bus. Steph, we had it easy. <laughs> yeah. My mom used to drop me off this bus. <laughs> but then I used to be embarrassed. Why? Cause like you know, she's like, I said she's not coming. And I'm like, stop. We speak English. Oh. I'd be like, love you. And now I feel so bad. Mm. Now I'm like, what the heck? You're the best, jump. <laughs> that was so English. <laughs> I guess you weren't lying. Do you guys drink milk in a bag? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I have my suspicions. I, I, sh I was wrong. Because over time, you had a little drama. You had a little drama to your experience. You had a little more spice, oh, yeah. a little know. flavor. But, but it's true. Never doubt this man again. Yeah. Wow. Never. Yeah, we wake up at what time? Like. Sometimes I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning? We get home at what time? Like 8. 8 o'clock. And then we do homework till what? Like 1 a.m.? What the? 12 oh a.m.? And we wake up early. Morning. Like 4 a.m., 3 a.m. to do homework. To finish homework. And then homework we go to so school. Much. And then during weekends, there's no weekend. Tutor, uh, homework. Did grandparents make him exercise on the stairs? Oh. <laughs> Do you guys exercise up and down the stairs? Yeah, you know he's really smart when he was young. He does these <laughs> little tricks ah! when he running stairs. Did you tell them? I don't remember. He's a okay, man. so you know you have to yeah. run up and down at six floors, and my grandma literally stands at six floor, and he will look out the window, make sure you ran out to the windows, so he knows that you actually ran out like whole six floors. Yeah. Oh, uh, she only does that like beginning, but later on she doesn't really check anymore. So what he really did, you know, my grandma sees he, sh he sweats a lot, and he also like <laughs> ran so fast. He even <laughs> done so fast. And I literally try my best, like running up and down, up and down. I tried to finish all of that. And then I was so surprised why he gets done so fast and he sweats a lot. Bro, she's guilty, bro. And so my grandma was like, look how your brother done. And I was like, I tried my best, I can't. And then this one day, he talks to me. All you have to do is like run fast at the beginning. And then later on, you hide it song like middle of the floor and sit there or something. You will get sweat a lot and then later on just relax a little bit. Oh, relax a little. So you would hide on like the third floor stairwell. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I think because gra yeah. my grandma was keep saying like why your brother can do it and yeah. you can't. And then I think one day he feels bad of me that no. he got the truth. <laughs> Two years later. <laughs> You all messed up, babe. <laughs> you need to be a better brother, okay? <laughs> wow, that was the most passionate I've ever seen her. <laughs> also, did you tell her that um, we have to wake up early in the morning in summertime, 5 o'clock in the morning during the summer break? To do what? Badminton. Like, That's why I love you're so good. I beat them in badminton. Yeah, yeah we've been playing it in early in the morning <laughs> summer break. At 5 a.m., yeah. We have to wake up 5 a.m. <laughs> to play <laughs> to <laughs> this is bizarre. Are you guys trying to go pro? <laughs> yeah, what's like, going what? on? <laughs> like my mom's a ping pong champion. She never made me exercise. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my fiance's sister. And now we're just gonna figure out this and his childhood trauma. Yeah, right? we gotta get over this trauma. <sighs> because I get along with your sister and I get along with you. So like, uh -huh. it's always like a, who do I invite? Do I invite Jennifer <laughs> or do I invite Dan Dan? And lately it's always been you and she's been like really getting mad at me. <laughs> Let us know if you guys want to see some family court, family trauma, family therapy. And a siblings challenge because I'm trying to win some money. And I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to check out Pop for some peace of mind for your pups. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>